This is a simple riser I created from a K1 Max. I created this primarily because I have the CFS upgrade fitted and I wanted it to be taller with more clearance so it uh, didn't catch while printing. I've also put vents in it. Uh, there's no slider system or anything. Uh, I print mainly in PLA so I don't need the enclosure so much and I want good ventilation for that. As you can see, it all just slots together. And it's the same on each side, so it can go any way round. I do suggest gluing the uh, joints when you put it together. I, I glued this afterwards. And now I'm going to put an LED strip on. Uh, these are about uh, £7, so $10 each. Uh, they've got adhesive back into them. I've used this one before. This is off something else, um, so it's lost its adhesion. But um, I would suggest also gluing them on because uh, with the heat of the printer, sometimes the LEDs will peel off. I like these ones mainly because it's an external USB power source, so I can have it on or off and just have the little light inside the printer on or off if I set it in the settings. Now you can trim these to exact size, they've got cut points on them, so it'll go around the edge. And that's it fitted and stuck on. I put a couple of cable ties on, on the corner, doesn't matter what corner you put it on, because as I say, it'll go any way round, so you can move that to whatever corner you want. There isn't any support needed for printing these, and uh, it takes a total of about eight hours to print all four. I print two at a time on the bed. I'll be releasing this free on Creality Cloud if you want to print it yourself. And here I'm just showing it with the lid on. The LEDs have an on and off and a small brightness adjustment, but it doesn't really make a lot of difference. They're a fairly basic set, but they're perfect for this job. And here it is on top of my K1 Max. Now I've got exactly the same setup on my other machine, and this machine I've already fitted with the CFS upgrade, so it's ready for the CFS to go on top. I shall be putting everything I've used in the comments, so if you want to download the model, which as I say is free on Creality Cloud, or any of the other bits I've used, I'll put the links to them there. That's the CFS on top. And I'll just show you around the machine once it's all set up. And that's it. And the clearance is fairly good. Adjust the pipe, uh, the tube into the top, just so it folds back on itself when it's printing. And the other one I printed for hours and hours, well, days on, uh, without any issues. And if you like the video, a like and subscribe is always most appreciated. And thank you for watching.